Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Nursal brand, N-U-R-S-A-L. This is their upper arm blood pressure monitor with a large LCD screen and two power sources get power. We're gonna show that. It has a two person memory. It'll store 180 different uh, measurements on there. It comes with a carrying bag and a fit for all cuff, very high quality and the power cable which allows you to power this up now this is the usb cable and you can plug it into your computer or you can use any inexpensive ac to dc adapter that has a usb port on there i recommend getting one that's one amp now you probably have these laying around these are used on a lot of devices so that's one way to power this another way is to use four double-A batteries. You just open this compartment up and you can see you got four double-A battery slots right there. Just load them up and you'll be set. That's another way you can power it. There's another way to power this. You could use the cable for the USB like I mentioned. You could also get an adapter which is available online and from this company and that will produce the 6 volts DC that will operate the device also. So right now this has got 5 volts from the USB port. But you can get an adapter that will allow you to use this if you don't have a USB port. Now the cuff itself has its vacuum attachment right there on the back of it. And that goes simply right on the side right here. And it's a pressure fit and it just goes right in and you're done. Simple as that. Carrying case is nice quality, it has a zipper on there and a nice little handle for you to use. Now let's go over some of the more of the specs on here. As I mentioned, it has an extra large LCD screen, so you can clear this here measurements. You can see systolic, diastolic, and pulse. So it, after you hit the set button, you can see that it's displaying the year. So you hold the memory button and you can see I got 2020 right there and hit the OK button and that should be set now to 2020 and it is. Now I'll set the month and date, Let's hit the set button again and 1 slash 1 let's increase that to the month right now which is June and let's advance it with the set button and let's look today's date is June 7th and hit the start button again now the date is set now we could set the time let's go back to the set button and the time is showing 805 now we could advance it Next, okay, he's in a 24-hour mode, so you can put the time right now. In my case, it's let's put it right there, 16:05, and now the time is set. Now, once you've done that, it's it, the time and the date and the year is now set on the device. You hit the start button, and you can see it's got user A, and it's starting to. Inflate the cuff. I don't have it on right now, so it's probably going to get an error. I just wanted to show you. You can see the cuff is expanding, putting pressure right there, and that's how it's going to measure. And you see it has an error in there because obviously it doesn't. That's not on my arm. So let's clear that out. Now we're going to show you the whole process to measure your blood pressure. So here I have the cuff on, and I can fit my fingers in there. And you could tie this very simply on the back. Pulling the off, putting it a little tighter if you want. You don't want to make it too tight. You should be able to put two fingers in there. You want to have this center tube kind of pointing to the center of your wrist. And the cuff itself should match the height of your chest heart. And your heart is, you know where your heart is, if it's kind of just should be lined up right with that, it's above your chest. 
and that's where this is right now. Now let's try to get a blood pressure measurement, hit the start button. You can hear it inflating. And it's on user A. Now it's showing you the pressure, now it's readjusting. See the little heart symbol over there? And that's actually your pulse. And there you go, it's 144 over 62, and my pulse is 65. Now I do have a little slight high blood pressure, but uh, that's, that's my blood pressure, 144 over 62 with a pulse 65. And if I had some irregular heartbeat, it would have shown that information on the display. And if you get that, very often then mention that to your doctor and, and another thing you could do is bring this device in when you see your doctor and have him compare this measurement to the measurement in the office that way you get a reference point to see if this is being accurate but that's an accurate blood pressure measurement i have another device and i just measured it so that that's correct so this works really well you can see it didn't take too long it's not painful and it works and gives you accurate measurement and now that'll go into the memory as my first actual blood pressure measurement on this device. This, the company also provides a two-year warranty. There is a warranty activation card to tell you where to go for that. And it does include a very nicely written instruction manual how to operate the device. It's easy to use. You just relax as much as possible. You want to sit for about five minutes before you take your measurement. It's just a good thing to do to relax you. You want to avoid measurements early in the morning because that's when your body has the highest blood pressure and get some errors there. Just wanted to point out when you hit the set button, it will show you the time and it says user A and you can go between user A and user B right there. So if you're user A, that's great. If this is your spouse or another family member you can go to user B that way you have your own set of memory storage for your own blood pressure measurements so that you could average them out and give them to your doctor so what do I think about the Nursel brand upper arm blood pressure monitor with large LCD screen two power sources portable carrying bag a fit for all cuff and the internal 180 memory for two users I think this is a cool product. It seemed to work really accurately. Display was very easy to see and very easy to use. And the long warranty that it has is a very good value. And so I like this product. I'm gonna give it a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.